to flux through the curved surface area of a cylinder, right? So what I do here, I am considering here a right circular cylinder of length 2L and radius R, right? Now at this point on the axis of the cylinder, I am taking a charge Q such that this charge Q is at a distance of L1 from the top base or top of the cylinder and uh, L2 from the bottom base, right? So that means it is unsymmetrically placed with respect to the bases of the cylinder. Now, Suppose alpha 1 is the semi vertex angle subtended by the charge with the top, and alpha 2 is the semi vertex angle with the bottom. So the solid angle subtended by the top is omega t, and solid angle subtended by the bottom is omega b, right? Now we know the solid angle subtended by a disk or a circle on its axis at a point is given by 2 pi into 1 minus cos of alpha. So the solid angle subtended by top is 2 pi 1 minus cos of alpha 1 and by the bottom it is omega b is equal to 2 pi 1 minus cos of alpha 2. Also we know the total solid angle subtended by any closed surface at a point inside the surface is 4 pi. So what will be the solid angle subtended by the curved surface that we have to calculate? Now, the flux through the curved surface is given by the general formula. Phi curved surface is equal to charge divided by epsilon naught. The solid angle subtended by the curved surface divided by total solid angle. Now, what we have to do, we have to calculate what is the solid angle subtended by the curved surface. Now, we know the total solid angle is equal to solid angle by top plus solid angle by bottom plus solid angle by the curved surface. So we get solid angle by curved surface is equal to total solid angle minus solid angle by top minus solid angle by bottom. So that is 4 pi minus 2 pi into 1 minus cos of alpha 1 minus 2 pi into 1 minus cos of alpha 2. So rearranging these we get 4 pi minus 4 pi plus 2 pi into cos of alpha 1 plus cos of alpha 2. 4 pi and 4 pi will cancel so we get 2 pi into cos of alpha 1 plus cos of alpha 2. Right? So therefore flux using this above formula is given by Q divided by epsilon naught. So it is 2 pi cos of alpha 1 plus cos of alpha 2 divided by 4 pi. Pi and pi cancels here 2, 1 is a 2, 2 is a. So we get Q divided by 2 epsilon naught cos of alpha 1 plus cos of alpha 2. So this is the flux through the curved surface of the right circular cylinder by the charge Q placed on its axis at any point, right? Now, as a special case, if the charge is at the center of the cylinder, that is at the center of the axis of the cylinder, then what will happen since the bases are symmetric with respect to the charge, so we can write alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to alpha, say, and L1 is equal to L2 is equal to L. I have taken here 2L for the convenience of calculations, right? So we get phi cs means the flux through the curved surface is q divided by 2 epsilon naught so for this phi 1 and uh, this alpha 1 and alpha 2 i write alpha so it is 2 times cos of alpha so we get q divided by epsilon naught cos of alpha so this is now the flux through the curved surface when the charge is at the center of the axis of the cylinder now what is cos of alpha Cos of alpha is easy with the help of the geometry. So you can calculate it as it is uh, this uh, L. So that is base divided by hypotenuse. So it will be L square plus R square under root. So that is Q divided by epsilon naught. L divided by under root of L square plus R square. So this is the electric flux through the curved surface.